I got an old VCR, half a box of tapes, it's dark out, and I'm wearing sunglasses. Hit it. So Mike and I are just about to look at some more footage that Adrian Domain actually dropped off for us. And I think this is uh, the Spring Nationals. I think, I, think so. I think you got some pretty awesome runs in here. So let's just, uh, let's just push go. Let's see what's going on here. <clears throat> oh, there's you. Yeah, that's Well, of course it's a while ago. <laughs> What do you got going? Baja you remember, South you remember some lines? They're way too short. Dude, yes, <laughs> that's that's what I felt like when we were town and countries too. Okay, what are you setting up for here? Do you think? Uh, Andrek to. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that guy? Ken Park. Dude, his shorts are just as bad as mine, man. I think Ken Kneeper. kept more. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that was cute. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, oh, that was sketchy. Oh, what you was know, going you, on there? <laughs> you know you what was going on. I know. I was wobbling before how I got to the next guy? wall. You know, Blender. <laughs> doing it everybody. Look how he looks like he's in slow motion. Okay, okay here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. You. Dude, All right. perfect. Really? That, that wall was a little <clears> messed up. Okay, I, this is a fun little story I'm going to tell you. You roll in, you do two backs of airs, <coughs> bam, McTwist. I'm like, what in the world was that? Like, I remember just sitting there for probably like, I watched you do it like three more times. Mm -hmm. And then slowly people just came over and everybody was freaking out. Yeah. Do well, you remember that? Uh, yeah, no, of course I remember it because when I invented it in, in Sweden with uh, Lance and, um, and Rodney was there. And uh, what made you try it? Where did it even come from? Like, what was going on in your head? Like, oh, I'm going to do a one and a half right now. Right. So I did really well one year. And um, <clears throat> Stacy said, uh, you know, where do you want to go for Christmas? I was like, well, I want to go to that new skate park, Cherry Hill, which was, you know. Nice. I was up there for the, a week and um, I seen this roller skater, Fred Blood. And uh, he, was, he would go up in the pool in the Egg Bowl and do, you know, do these 540s. I had thought about that for a while. I'm just like, man, it's just so unfair. It's got to be a way to do this. And uh, that summer, I went to Sweden. After skating that camp for like three weeks, where you know it was only a few days left, and I was like, you know what? I got to try. It. I've done every trick I can do. Right. You know, I'm ready. First big transition ramp before right. there were. You know, there was like 10 foot transitions. This was like more, like 12 that barely went to vert. Right. But you had all that transition to land on. And if I could just make that first 360, at least I could bail. Right. And get to my knees. I yeah. didn't want to land on my head. Of course not. And so, so it was the right place to try it. So I taped my wrist guards. I had Barry's hip pads on. I was like, I, I'm gotta try this. Full warrior. Yeah. So it was only <laughs> me and these other two kids. And one of the kids was Bod Boyle. Okay. He was actually in our camp. Nice. And everybody else was at dinner. I tried it a few times and- uh, What was it like the first try? I knew I had to get some speed to, to spin. And I did what I planned to do. I just spun a 360 and I got to that point and then I just, I bailed. Okay. So I go to my knees and I was like, oh, that's not too bad. You know, so I did that. So the first one didn't even freak you out? Well, well, it, it did kind of because I, I, my heart like was racing because I, I uh, like you didn't go up and go ah or anything well, like that. You just spun. Well, as you know, you either have to commit yeah, or I'm not. Right. You can't go halfway because you get stuck and you yeah, fall backwards. Right. It's, right. it's not good. Not yeah. good thing. Right. So I just did that several times. I just kept spinning and spinning and I got closer and closer. And then like within 40, I guess about 45 minutes, I actually, I just spun and I just, I just landed. And I was like, wow, that didn't really feel like that much. You know, like it was, it was almost too easy for me. Really? Yeah. So and, you made um, it the first day you tried it. Yeah, within 45 minutes. <laughs> I know, nobody believes that, but I swear it is. And uh, it was just, wow. I, I think because I practiced it more in my mind so many times. Right. And then when I actually got to it, I was prepared a little bit more. So after I made it, I went, I was like, I, I was wanted to ask them, well, what did it look like? And they just were screaming and yeah. ran back to the camp to go tell Lance and, and everyone else, right. you know? And uh, actually when Lance came back, uh, he's like, all right, let's see it. I'm like, well, I, all right. <laughs> so he thought I was just gonna spin around, yeah. you know, halfway up or whatever. And then I just, I did a backside air and I did it. He's like, that's, that's it. He went back, got his stuff, went on the ramp, immediately tried it. Yeah. Like he just went for it. 
oh yeah, I ran and grabbed my stuff and I killed myself. Tried it right off the top, landed on the top, flipped in, I just destroyed myself. Landed totally backwards, flopped on the deck, and was out. Like, it almost got knocked out. He was just like, it was so painful to watch. Really? He's like, I, I don't understand how you can do that. Yeah. How'd you do that so quick? And actually, he was one of the first guys to actually do it. Like yeah. him, Tony, Lester. Uh, obviously, you know, everybody asks, well, how did you, you know, I didn't name the trick, and uh, it was pretty much Rodney that called it the McTwist and Lance, I don't know, you know, somehow. So Rodney, Rodney came up with that. Uh, that's what I, that's, that's my story. Mike, thank you so much for yeah, telling man. me all these stories. It was totally awesome. Mm -hmm. Now you just need to come and skate with me, okay? That's right. All right. That's right. So, uh, Kevin Staub and, and, uh, who are you? Who are you? I, uh, Jimbo DeSum. Uh, <laughs> and Mike McGill. Anyways, thanks so much for joining us for another episode of VHS Vault. We'll see you soon. Take care.